Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another Tuesday in Red Dead Online. This week's update lasts from August 9th through August 15th, and with it comes some free items and rewards. This is the second week of the August event, and today on the show we will be talking about the rewards, as well as I'll also be giving a reminder of all the bonuses and discounts this month so you don't miss out before the August event wraps up here in-game. But with all that said, let's get started. If you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it, and if you'd like to stay up to date and in the loop with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So this month is completely focused on collectors out there, and before we mention anything, those players out there unaware, as a collector, your most important tool isn't actually anything in the game itself. It's on the internet, and it's a collector map that shows you the location of every single collectible updated in real time every single day. And so in the description of this video, I'll leave a link to this map that you'll want to use as a reference as we move forward with this month's update. Rockstar's actually switching up with how they do things with the free rewards for each week of this event month. Typically, free rewards during each week of the specific specific event month have a few different prerequisites before the item you want is automatically unlocked. However, this time around, it's all very simple. So here are your weekly free rewards for assembling and returning each complete weekly collection to the mystic Madame Nazar. Last week, you should have received the shoot the sky emote if you participated in the weekly collection and turn it into Madame Nazar. This week, you'll unlock a pair of Griffith chaps and that's from the August 9th through August 15th. If you complete a weekly collection during the week of August 16th through the 22nd, you'll get a pair of range gloves gloves. From August 23rd through the 29th, you can unlock the Eberhardt coat. And then for the final week of the August event, August 30th through September 5th, if you complete a weekly collection and sell it, you will unlock the Get Over Here emote. And if you are looking for specific locations for each week's weekly collection, make sure to use that collector map link down below. But we also have some more free items and rewards. Collectors who log in to play Red Dead Online this month will receive the Collector Coin Treasure Map. Meanwhile, reaching Collector Daily Challenge Streak of 5 will yield a reward for 30% off a Novicing or Promising Collector Roll item, and reaching a Streak of 10 as a Collector will land you a reward for 40% off an Established or Distinguished Collector Roll item. Completing any Collector Free Roam event over the next month as well will allow you to receive a Collector Tarot Card Treasure Map, and collecting a Fossil every week this month until the event ends will allow you to receive a 42 rounds of Buckshot Incendiary Shotgun Ammo, and walking on the other side of the law and completing a Blood Money Opportunity every week from now until the event end will result in you receiving 8 Dynamite Arrows. Now all of these rewards and offers will be delivered within 72 hours of completion to either the post office or your camp lockbox. But now we have this month's featured series game modes. For this week, it is the Bow and Arrow series from August 9th through the 15th. For August 16th through the 22nd, the third week of the event, we have Hardcore Gun Rush Teams. From August 23rd through the 29th, we have the Blackwater Series. From August 30th through September 5th, we wrap up the event month with Hardcore Pro Series number 3. Now, for the bonuses for the month of August, we have a double money and XP on all collector set sales. Diligence is its own reward for collectors this month, as returning complete sets to Madame Azar will pay out that double money and XP. You can also set your sights on the mining town of Ansberg, pick your approach, and find a way to steal the Ember of the East before the flawless Ruby brings Senator Ricard fame at the state's fair. Outlaws are going to be earning double the usual money, gold, and XP for their trouble with this opportunity mission. Chaos is also running amok on the frontier, and should you stumble upon strangers or familiar acquaintances on your travels, all free roam missions are paying out double money, gold, and XP for this August event, so it's all month long. If you break up the illicit smuggling ring stemming from the docks and quays of San Denis in the dockside contract, not only will you earn double the usual money and XP payouts, but you're also guaranteed to find more capitale than usual, whether it's in the pockets of your fallen enemies or stashed in chests. And you're going to need to make sure you use that to play that Ember of the East opportunity mission. After that, we have double money and XP on all Land of Opportunity story missions, so you can help the widowed Miss Jessica Leclerc avenge the death of her husband in those Land of Opportunities online story missions and rake in double money and XP. Now, unfortunately, it seems like Rockstar is trying to promote this and they haven't really wrapped up the story and we probably will never get a finale to it despite like part one of this story being over. We still have parts two and three to look forward to and it's just probably never going to come. So I guess we shouldn't really look forward to it in the first place. But moving on, we have the free community outfit. Some people spend their life honing in an aesthetic, and this is Juicy Fruit from the r slash Red Dead Fashion community subreddit. 
knocked it out of the park with their first ever post, and Rockstar had to share it. Visiting participating local tailors or cracking open the Wheel of Ross and Company catalog will allow you to pick up pieces of the stylish ensemble for free. So starting off with this outfit, we have the stalker hat, the puff tie, the worsted coat for males, or the Hartle autumn jacket for females, the paisley vest, an everyday shirt for male characters, or the Iniesta shirtwaist for female characters, crossback suspenders, agency gun belt, padded saddle work pants, and dress shoes for male characters, or homestead boots for females. Now, while you're also stocking up on those garments, make sure to check out the Irwin coat and the Woodland gloves, because they're returning to the shelves and catalog pages for a limited time only. Those are our two pieces of limited stock clothing available for the August event. We should have a lot more, but as it stands right now, those are the two we have. Moving on to the discounts for the month of August. You can get 30% off the Navy Revolver, 30% off collector roll outfits in every single one in the game, 30% off all Mustang horses, including the DLC ones, which don't have a level lock and a level four bonding. They also have a full health and maxed stamina ring, which is awesome. You can get 35% off the collector saddlebag, allowing you to hold seven outfits on your horse, 35% off refined binoculars to help you find collections easier, 40% off the metal detector to help you find diggable collections to actually dig out of the ground, 40% off the Springfield rifle, 40% off the bolt action rifle, 50% off all fence weapons like the dynamite, fire bottles, hatchets, and tomahawks, and then 50% off all rifle ammo in the game. Moving on, we have Prime Gaming rewards to go over. Red Dead Online players who connect their Rockstar Game Social Club account to Prime Gaming before September 5th will receive five gold bars, an offer for five gold bars off the collector's bag, or basically the collector roll, bringing the total cost down to 10 gold bars, and then an outfit for their character, either it being the Reddington for females or the Zakateka for males. We usually have these Prime Gaming rewards pretty frequently now with these monthly events, and just a reminder, you don't need to pay for Prime Gaming to get these rewards. I wouldn't even recommend you do that anyway. If you already have Amazon Prime though, Prime Gaming on Twitch is included, and by the way, I stream Red Dead Online on Twitch, so you might as well come check out the stream and hang out with the community if you enjoy playing Red Dead and you're a Red Dead fan. Even if you're new to the game, everyone's welcome. Feel free to ask me any questions about the game as I try to be as helpful as possible in those live streams. But with that being said, that's all we have time for today, and we're going to wrap things up right here. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. That being said, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a fantastic day, everyone, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.